Hello and welcome to another Black Desert Online tutorial for the world map. We're going to be going over the world map and everything that's on it so you can kind of understand what you're looking at. So if we push the M button, we open up the world map and you can see what I've already discovered. And that's the highlighted area. And then the stuff you haven't discovered, or stuff I haven't discovered, it's gray over here. So we can kind of see the outline of where we think stuff is and where we need to go to see other things. Looks like there's a big mountain range here possibly. Um, but we can't really, you know, go out there yet. I don't, I'm not sure how much stuff is actually available in the game out in these areas because I haven't been there. Uh, but it seems pretty sizable for a, a world map. And then we can see on here, if we zoom in a little bit, we can see this is Balanos territory. There's three territories. Balanos territory is one. Uh, we have Serendia territory here as the second territory. And then there's a third territory somewhere. It's, and that one uh, I can't see where it is so I will have to explore to even find that one so as we look at the world map here we have um, a bunch of different icons tons of icons everywhere so we're gonna zoom in and kind of simplify what we're seeing so that it'll be easier to explain so zooming all the way in here way tied into the world map you see my uh, you see the city on the ground here yeah, that's Velia we can also see our little white character symbol here this is where we're standing in Velia we can see the way we're facing. We can also see, if we mouse over this, this is a node. This is the city node of Velia. And I own 3 out of 12 nodes inside of Velia. If I click on Velia, it'll actually zoom in and show me that I own this house, then this house, and this house. So I own 3 out of 12 open houses in Velia. I can uh, do things on this list. We'll go over that later because this is about world map and not node management. So zooming back out. Uh, we have, if you mouse over these little blue people, you can see the names of NPCs that you know of. And you can kind of find people. You can also mouse over if they have a specific job, for instance, like Santo Manzi is the workman um, manager. And so you can buy workmen from him. Um, he's over here. He looks like a little pickaxe. Over here, this person is probably the marketplace guy. He has the little dollar coins in the bag of money next to him. He's going to be where you sell stuff if you want to auction it. Ooh, we have, uh, the world map is active, so we actually have somebody who owns a wagon who is transporting goods to Velia from another location. Here he comes. Um, you see Velia has all these lines coming off of them. Like this, uh, the city has this white line going here, white line going over here, a white line going over here. And you notice there's this yellow line right here, this gold line. This is because I own nodes in Velia, and I also own nodes over here in Logia Farm. I own one of two nodes there. No guild is occupying it, and I own that node, and that means I can do business in Logia Farm. I can also do business in Velia. Uh, and having these connected means, based on, uh, based on my understanding of the way the game works now, uh, there is a tax on trades between nodes that you do not own. So if you own... Uh, two nodes you can trade between those two nodes tra tax free however if you don't own stuff in those nodes you get taxed as you're transporting and trading goods between those nodes okay what else is on this map well we have little squares that have pictures on them if you mouse over them you get a little tooltip that says quest summary these are quests and in some cases these are repeatable quests uh, that you can pick up or, or, or do and uh, they're showing you basically what you're going to be doing so I can see a goblin or an imp on that uh, a picture of an imp on that quest square and so I know that I'm probably going to be fighting against imps and if I mouse over I can see yes destroy oh, uh, goblins destroy goblins destroy goblin fighters and destroy goblin watchtowers uh, it says on there you can accept this quest again 22 hours after completing it so it is a daily quest so here we can see a little horse that's where that's your stable down here we can see this that's a little farm symbol a little tree is a farm symbol uh, you got a little potion here. It's uh, Eileen. I believe she sells potions. Um, we also have these little wheelbarrow looking things. It says Imp Soldier, Imp Wizard, Imp uh, Steel Imp. You, so you can see different uh, monsters you've discovered and where you've discovered them, where you'll find them. There's foxes there. We can find weasels there. So that's an easy way if you're, if you're like, I need to fight weasels. You can say, oh, uh, there's a weasel there. We can go to the weasels right over there. Here we got Stoneback Crabs. And that's, um, if I, we wanted to discover, we haven't discovered them yet, and we haven't got knowledge of them yet, but we know they're here. We can go and we can fight stone crabs there. We also know there's a farm worker here. Have not discovered this guy, so we can go talk to him if we'd like to. Important to talk to everyone you can. Here's a goblin cave. 
that we haven't discovered. Here's a goblin cave node manager. We can uh, work on that. And as we zoom around, we can also see here's a northern guard camp. That's uh, guard camps or guard towers are these little castle looking things. Or guard posts. These arrows, these uh, these arrows going one way and the other, these are connectors between other nodes. So if I needed to go from uh, Velia, connector through Balanos Forest to Heidel Pass. So in order to connect Velia to Heidel Pass, I would want to use Belanos Forest as my connector node. If I buy a node in each, if I buy a, uh, invest in each of these nodes, these will become connected nodes. I could connect all the way down if I wanted to to Heidel and uh, have a trade route from Velia to Heidel. Uh, if we look on here, we have a red check mark next to this quest. Can't really mouse over it very well, but it is right there. I can't mouse over and get to the quest summary. But I know if I go there, that red check mark tells me that that quest is complete and I can turn it in. Okay. So what else is on this map that I haven't described? We have we sh we see all the uh, forested areas. So if you're looking to chop wood and get logs, you can go to those uh, forested areas and find them in ample supply. Uh, other things on this world map. If we look at the top left, we have filters, so we can actually filter. Um, I believe this lets us filter down and see a node list. Okay, so the connector. If we're trying to find a certain connector, like a, a for instance, it says whale farm. We can click on that, and it'll show us where Well Farm is. It's up here, Well Farm. Then we also have towns. So it shows us we know where Olvia and Western Guard Camp are. We know where Velia and Heidel are. Gateways, we know these gateways that can lead to other areas. Here's some trades. Uh, he's, these are kind of harvestable nodes. Logia Farm, Bartali, Fento Farm, Marino Farm, Bellinos Forest, Toscani Farm, and there's others. Then there's danger zones. Forest of Seclusion is labeled as a danger zone. Apparently it's, you know, just, you know, has a lot of monsters, doesn't really have anything harvestable. It's considered a danger zone, is the way I understand that to work. Okay. Next. We can also find. So if we're looking for, where is Heidel? I've completely forgotten. We should be able to click find, and boom, Heidel and Heidel Pass. So we can search that way. We can search by crafted item. We can also search by purpose. I don't know what the what the substrings are for these kind of things. Uh, can I just search for like apple juice? Nope. Okay, available for production. Okay. So if you have um, if you have a node and you're able to produce a certain crafted item, you can find where you can produce it. Is the way I understand this to work. And click find, and you can find that location. You can use your workman to produce items and such. Also down here we have contribution points. You can kind of see how much you can you can use. You can spend contribution points to buy land and buy nodes and invest and get workmen and things like that so that you can produce goods and things like that um these go down when you when you invest and buy property and such these go back up when you sell that property you can also use these to rent items as well um but when you sell them you get all of your contribution points back so you're never you never lose them permanently so always Always spend them as, as much as you can because, or, or for good purposes, because uh, you never actually run out. You can always get them back. Looks, oh, we got a ship coming in. Here's a person's ship, a boat. You can see that person coming into the dock. Okay. That's probably a trade ship. I don't know exactly. I haven't got into boating yet, so I don't know how the whole boating system works. Uh, people have asked what this little red thing here is. The, these are bandits. Apparently, there's bandits at this location. And they're moving around, and they will probably assault uh, transports and things like that that are in that area. Um, looking around, seeing if there's anything else I want to talk about. Uh, top right-hand corner, we have just different filters, it looks like. You can display different information about the different locations. Looks like they even have graphs. They have groundwater, temperature, humidity custom filters for making custom filters and then node war if there's any node wars doesn't look like there is because we are all low level at this point and then general information we can also turn on and off any of these icons if it gets too cluttered and you're like i can't see what's going on i need to turn off stuff you can just show quests look those are all in my quests that's all i need to worry about if all i'm worried about is questing if i just want to see my knowledge information here's my knowledge information if i just want to see um, I think that's production nodes or fishing and gathering knowledge. Um, 
Don't have a whole lot of that, apparently. Here's the connector nodes. Direction information. Location information. Those shows all those bandits really clearly. Trade. So you can see where all the traders are, the trade posts and the nodes. And then we can see here's the ships and the wagons that are going around. Here's a wagon. Here's a boat. And there's another boat way up there sailing away. I don't. Th I'm not sure that these are players. I think these may be. I can't. T I'm not sure if these are players or NPCs. So I'm pretty sure they're players, but I don't know that for a certainty. So, um, yeah, interesting. So that is that. That is the world map in a nutshell. Oh, uh, one other thing I completely forgot. Um, you can click these buttons down here and bring up certain uh, interfaces to see what's going on, like marketplace. You can see the marketplace worker list. You can see the worker list. Uh, you can see tutorial videos. It looks like it looks like that's grayed out. And then we have an exit button. Takes us back to the game. So if you have any questions about the world map, please let me know. I'll be glad to answer whatever I can and check the game and all that kind of stuff. Thanks for, so much for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. There's other tutorials. Check those out. And remember, keep it clean.